Welcome to Red Tech Channel, a new way to learn. So today in MRI, I am going to discuss about the difference between flare and star sequence. Please watch the previous video before watching this. The link is given in the description. So let's begin. Star sequence or flare sequence. Basically, in star sequence, we take the short time of inversion which is about 80 to 150 millisecond used but as compared to flare sequence in this long time of inversion is used which is about 1500 to 2500 millisecond star basically name suggesting that short time of inversion and flare suggesting fluid attenuated inversion recovery sequence in the star sequence the fat and the white matter can also be suppressed but we used the star sequence in body imaging only white matter present in the brain so but mainly hum use mainly used in body imaging and in the flare we have clear idea about the csf and the water wherever present in the body but basically we used this sequence in neuro imaging so in the flare sequence csf or you can say water is suppressed and in star fat and you can say that uh, white matter can also be suppressed and uh, when you look at the star image that image will be shown like combined t1 and t2 weighted image is obtained but in when you see the flare image the it is look like heavily t2 weighted and post contrast cannot be done in star sequence and can be done in the flare sequence now look to the diagrammatically also now when you put the patient in the mr machine the patient hydrogen proton allying along the longitudinal magnetization you can hypothetically supposing that that at the at one level the fat signal comes out and at another level fluid signals come out i mark earlier the fluid signals because fluid hydrogen proton are in freely state and they can regain its longitudinal magnetization very soon as compared to fat so when we apply the inversion 180 degree rf pulse the all hydrogen proton comes along negative side of longitudinal magnetization so now in the star case in the star sequence case we put the short time of inversion means when we put the 180 degree pulse then at a short time we put the another 90 degree rf pulse that is basically read out the signals and that time only fluid signals is read out but fat signals not and when we go in the another where the long t time of inversion put it in the flare sequence we put the after we put 90 degree after a long time of inversion that time we are able to read only fat signals but can't uh, fluid signals because because their hydrogen proton uh, are aligned alone longitudinal magnetization or you can say positive side of longitudinal magnetization so that's why this is the basically the reason behind the uh, flare or star sequence where the fat and the fluid are suppressed according to their point of time or you can say you can assume a particular time which is decided by the time of inversion at which or you can say in how much time of inversion you put it that really matter in taking the image time of inversion basically difference between when you put it the 180 degree 180 degree inversion rf pulse and then 90 degree rf pulse 90 degree basically uh, to take out or you can say to take the signals and read out the signals also so that's the main role of understanding the star and the flare sequence we have remember all the points i hope this will clear out you very clearly so this is all about star and flare do subscribe if you like and thanks for watching